Today is April the 20th, 2023. I want you to think back, though, to May the 17th, 1877. That's when Alexander Graham Bell appeared at the theater in New York City and demonstrated the first look at the telephone. Now I want you to think about what's happened over the last 146 years relative to what Alexander shared with the people in the auditorium that day. How has the telephone changed our world? Well, it certainly brought on the telephone, then it brought on the radio, then it brought on the TV, then it brought on the internet, and now it's bringing on the communications throughout the world and maybe into uh, planetary uh, exploration. That all resulted from the evening of May 17th, 1877, 146 years ago. And we're there again. And Steve Jobs told us we were there again back in 2011 in his death uh, statement that said the world world is coming is going to change as a result bringing synthetic biology and technology together and what he of course was speaking of is his knowledge at that time in 2011 of what artificial intelligence was going to do and that's where we're at today we're at a change and it isn't going to have anything to do with interest rates it's not going to have anything to do with inflation those are temporary events what is about to happen is the change that is comparable to May 17th, 1877. And what I want to do with you is share how we can benefit from this because we know about it. And, and, and I want to emphasize that. You have not heard Jim Cramer mention a word about synthetic biology. Stock Moe's not talking about, meet Kevin, Graham Steffens, none of them are talking about it. And guess why? They don't read. They don't read the books that are written by the most intelligent people in the world, the most far-viewing people in the world that are telling you, this is what's happening behind the scenes. Pull the curtain back. This is what's happening behind the scenes, and this is how the world is going to change. I want to emphasize this in this video. This is not financial advice. This is the damnedest good financial education you're ever going to receive because I'm going to give you a window into the future. I'm going to tell you the one word that keeps being repeated over and over in this book that is going to change your life. And if you can figure out, Homer, when to get into it, you'll have more money than you know what to do it with. This is not financial advice. Best of Us Investors presents Carrie Griegmeier. As I'm reading the second half of this book, and this is a book you need to read, and you can get it for free if you go into the description and you are not a member of Audible at this time. This is a company owned by Amazon, and Amazon will give you your first free book if you sign up for Audible, and this is the book you should be buying and, and reading. I'm halfway through it. I'm now into the future. I just got done with the current and what the current kept saying, kept using one word over and over and over again, and that is CRISPR. That is CRISPR. And that's and I've been talking about CRISPR and how it's going to take disease out of our bodies for the last year and a half. And yeah, I bought it up at 46 and now it's down to four. And I've lost 96% of my investment. I've since got out of it, but now I'm planning to, a strategy as to how to determine when to get in with, into it. And I'll share with that with you. But what I realized as I read this book is that we're not just talking about CRISPR 
prosper in taking disease out of our body through genome sequencing, genome editing, and genome therapy. No, we're talking about changing our food and, and, and animals and plants by making them more resilient to drought, making their muscle structure better, the altering the way food is produced so that we don't depend on other countries or on other sciences, that CRISPR will change that. It will also change that, you know, you've read about this huge mass of plastic sh- uh, in, the, in the ocean. They're talking about developing a enzyme that they can put in the ocean and it will eat the plastic and actually turn it into recyclable um, plastics or substances that we can use. Then they're talking about how to use CRISPR to alter trees so that they can suck up more carbon dioxide and put out more whatever so that our planet's global warming is improved as a result of CRISPR, okay? And I have talked to you about CRISPR relative to the medical cure world for the last two and a half years, but now it's coming into a part of synthetic biology and how it's going to change our world. So, What is our task is how do we invest in this? How do we figure out when to get into it? Because the science is there. We know it's there. We know it's coming. We know it's going to work. But we have still to deal with Wall Street. And Wall Street is based on momentum. So when when risk came off of my $46 editor's stock, it crashed and it went down to $4.76 $4.76 uh, a, a share. So I took a beating. In the meantime, I've learned the tools that I can use to give me a reading on the momentum of Wall Street so that I know when to buy and when to get out. And I want to share that with you. This is something that I have uh, learned from Mark. Mark is our uh, guru on swing trading. He's he's uh, on our Discord, and he's teaching people on a daily basis how to trade a down market, how to trade a moving market, how to use 200 day, 50 day, and nine day moving averages to determine what direction the stock is going, then how to plug in the MACD and, and the relative strength index to confirm the movements of the stocks. And that's what I'm doing to help me determine when do I buy into these CRISPR stocks and these genome editing stocks and these these uh, plant-based editing stocks. When do I buy into them? Not when the science is proven and the FDA approves it, but when the market says we want more of that. Okay? Because when they want more of that, my price is going to go up and I am going to make money. I want you to make that money as well. So let's go to my computer and let me show you the spreadsheet I have created to give me signals as to when is it time to buy CRISPR? When is it time to buy Editus and Beam and, and Caribou and, and, and Grinko DNA? When is it time to buy them? I think I figured it out. I want to share it with you. Let's go to the computer. Okay, let's start here with this chart on NVIDIA. And what you can see is uh, NVIDIA hit a high in, um, let's see, November 23rd of 2021, and then it started a path down. What you're seeing here, this is the 200-day moving average, this is the 50, and this is the 9. When you see it cross that 50, you, you know that the momentum is going down. It then confirms it by crossing the 200-day, and it goes down further. You also see that in the MACD and the relative strength and in the volume index as well. So now let's use this same knowledge that when they cross the 200, the 50, and the, and the, 90, and the 9 day, they're going to go up. Right there, you see it. There it is. Uh, the price crossed the red line. That's the 200-day. Uh, it, it crossed the uh, 50 about a week earlier, 
and it's moving up with the nine day the nine day moving average. As long as it's above these two, its good general direction is going up. Okay, if I know that, now let's apply it to our other stocks that we want to own, our CRISPR stocks. So let me take you to the spreadsheet that I've created to give me that information. This is an Excel spreadsheet that I created. And first of all, I want to show you how I use it with my big tech. That's Amazon, uh, Google, Apple, Meta, Activision, Broadcom, Oracle, Microsoft, NVIDIA, and ASML. And as you can see, what I've done over here then is show the 200-day, the 50, and the 9-day. As you can see, Amazon has not gotten positive on the 200-day. But look at the rest of these. Now, these are then my return on investment. And as you can see, it ranges all the way from 25%. I'm up on, on um, Meta to the lowest. I'm only up 0.5% on uh, ASML. It has crossed the 200-day, but the market has not gotten totally behind it because it's not above the 50 and, and the 9-day. But as you can see, these others that are giving me good growth are all above the 200, the 50, and the 9-day. So now we go down to the stocks that I want to own in the CRISPR category. Uh, and the first two are Illumina and Pacific Biosciences. These are the companies that make the genome sequencing machines that you and I are going to, our doctor's going to call us and say, hey, Carrie, we want to sequence your genome and, and find out what you have a propensity for, whether it be cancer, Alzheimer's, heart disease, whatever. Now look at them. Illumina is above the 200, above the 50, and above the 9. So that would indicate to me Illumina is in a buy category. Pacific Biosciences, on the other hand, it is above on the 200 and the 50, and just the nine day. That makes it a buy category as well, particularly if it's confirmed by the MACD, the relative strength, and the volume uh, indexes that I have shown you. Now, what about things like Edithis, CRISPR, Beam, Caribou, Intella, uh, Abcellera, uh, Twist, and Greninko? Uh, no, they're above the nine day, which says there, there's some positive movement, but they ha only uh, CRISPR has passed the 50 day. So I'm not ready to buy it yet. Once it gets above that 200 day, though, I now look at the other signals, the MACD and, and the relative strength and the volume index and say, has the market recognized that this is where the, the world is going, that Steve Jobs was right uh, back uh, in 2011, that the biggest change in our world is going to be the, the emergence of technology and, and bioscience science in, in the future, so our synthetic uh, um, biology in the future. Once the market recognizes that, I buy in, okay? That's what I'm doing. I'm using this, and I'm going to put this on our website. We're, we're spending thousands of dollars to get our website to where we can put these kinds of uh, charts and, and Excel spreadsheets where you can go and visit them on a daily basis and see what what is Carrie and Trent and Mark and, and Drew doing that is that I can learn from. And then how can I participate in this by coming together on their Friday stock talks and sharing my knowledge and my experience? That's where I'm going. And that's why I do this, to help you make good investment decisions. As I said, no one else is talking about this. It's, 
It's it's beyond their perception because they don't read. Okay. Now, what I want to say is I can't do this by myself. I need help. And that's why I have created a Discord. And this is where we get together and talk. Whether whether we talk on the Discord or you just come to my Friday um, stock talks and we talk about it there. Because what I want is a group of people, 10,000, 10 million, I don't care, who come and say, Carrie, I read this. I learned this. I've got a, a, a guy who sends me, uh, no, I have many guys and gals who send me emails to say, read this article, Carrie. Read this, what I found about whatever. And as a team, we can whip this because Jim Cramer isn't going to talk about it until it's too late because this is how we're going to win at this game. Okay. That's my rant for the day, um, and we'll talk more about this, I'm quite sure, because this is how I'm going to become a multi-multi-millionaire. Mm-hmm.